gorgeous poem by Theodore Lethke, lovely American poet, mid-century in post-war, um, and it's called, it's a canzone, a canzone is a, I love these forms, this is a 65 line form in which the same five words just keep reoccurring at the end. It's like entering a whirlpool or a spin dryer. Um, the line from Rethke is, and when she moved, she moved more ways than one. So one keeps coming up all the time. Um, it kind of resolves itself into sense every oh so often. <laughs> and when she moved, she moved more ways than one. But that's just movement as a cat performs. Beauty enough for cats, for anyone. Because a movement can be more than one. And several is how they spent the day. And she was several, far more than one. Just more perhaps of one than anyone in terms of movement. Nothing standing still for long enough. Though they themselves stood still while moving on, refusing just the one mode of movement or fixity of place. And so they kept on moving place to place. And this is where they were. This was the place where she was moving. Every movement one with the next, each fitting into place, then shifting on, discarding sense of place. And he stood by, seeing her grace performs itself, and knows its place beyond the place provided for it, never the perfect place. You love the moment, you love the many, and you love the one. But many may be focused into one. You want the thing, you want it in a place, you want it how you want it, to be still and poised, he thought, and constant, as if still in movement, loving all that remains still in her, a sense of being in a place not of it, and a sense he made was still a point of stillness in her being still. So when she moved, it was more ways than one, he noted as she moved by being still. One might move so, and yet remain quite still, he said. It's life that holds her and performs a daily ritual as she herself performs. And she performs herself beyond the one still movement of performance in a day that moves past her and will not spare a day. But this was where she moved, it being day she moved through, as though perfectly at one with day, and it was with and it with, with and it with her day after day, with nights to come, the body of the day, turning to sleep an image in the place they lay and moved in, in a dream of day, working its way through body in a day, as though her body, his dream and day were one. More time, most time is timeless. Time knows only one mode of being, rushing through the day, ticking off items, the functions it performs, performable, but not what she performs. They were, he thought, what permanence performs, when permanence is saved for just one day. So day performs, so anything performs itself by moving, being what performs, because performance is like standing still while moving. And so everything performs movement, stillness, whatever thing performs what happens. And it happens in this place or that, the whole being only the place she moves in, and by moving in performs. So she, he thought, must clearly be the one who holds the movement still, as if at one with both the stillness and the movement. One moment here or there, then the whole place, the body moved and then stopped quite still. Still as the world compacted in today, the several parts and all that day performs.